Now we'll finish our review of discrete random variables with the Poisson distribution. The Poisson distribution is one of the most important distributions and is commonly used to model counts of occurrences in an interval of time or, of, or space. It approximates this is the definition and the particular case is that it approximates the binomial PMF when n is large, p is small and lambda is equal to np. This lambda over here is the parameter of this distribution. It's the number that defines how is the behavior of the distribution. If x is going to be the random variable, that means that is the number of occurrences in the interval then the parameter lambda can be interpreted as the average number of occurrences in the interval. So let it, for example, be the number of calls received in an hour. Assume an average rate of two calls per hour. So if we have this, we know that it is going to be a Poisson distribution with lambda equal to two. Okay, in this case, our interval is an interval of, of time from zero, let's say to 60 minutes. And we have that this lambda is an average rate of two calls per hour. So if we have our, our interval in this time, lambda is going to be over here. We can do something and it's compare the PMFs, for example, if we have the binomial distribution with n equal to 4 and p equal to 0 0.5 and the binomial distribution with n equal to 8 and p equal to 0 0.25 and the binomial distribution with n equal to 100 and p equal to 0 0.02 and we compare them with the Poisson distribution lambda equal to 2 with parameter of lambda equal to 2 we can see that the approximation of these two are very good because n, n is large, p is small and n times p is going to be lambda equal to 2 you can, do, you can calculate the probabilities using this link and in general case, we have that if if x is our um, is distributed is our random variable and it's distributed Poisson with parameter lambda, then the probability of x equal to the particular number x is equal to the exponential of m minus, minus lambda times lambda to the x over x factorial. And this for x equal to 0, 1, and so on. The proof of this will be posted as an optional video. If you want to check the video, just let me know by, e by a email and I will send it to you. Uh, example. Suppose you receive emails at an average rate of 10 per hour. So this is our parameter lambda. Use the Poisson distribution to approximate the probability that you will receive less than five emails in the next hour. So here, let x, our random variable, to be number of emails received in the next hour. So our random variable is going to be Poisson with parameter lambda equal to 10, okay? This 10 over here. And the exercise is asking what is the probability of x being less than 5? So this probability is, well, x is, equal, is less than 5 when x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 1 or equal to 2, or equal to 3, or equal to 4, right? 
so we have to calculate each probability that's for example for h equal to zero is going to be e exponential to the minus to the minus 10 minus 10 times 10 to the zero over zero factorial and so on to the last probability is going to be exponential of ma minus 10 minus 10 times 10 to the 4 over 4 factorial it's basically the sum of from x equal to 0 to 4 of exponential of minus 10 times 10 to the x over x factorial you can use the applet the applet remember this one use it here but with pro calculating the probability of x less or equal than 4 right it's going to be the same that less than 5 and if you use that or you use or you use this calculation here you will find that the probability is going to be 0 0.02925 Finally, we have this summary over here. This contains basically the PMF function for each of the distributions that we already discussed. Um, keep them because you will need it for the exercises and you will need it in the future.